Um, hijama is something that actually I I have no idea what is it about. Mm -hmm. um, my grandma said to me um, uh, after we after after I graduated from school. So I was working as an oil and gas um, ROV pilot. So sure in the oil and gas industry. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, I was a ROV pilot. ROV pilot is an underwater pilot. Mm -hmm. So they deal in all those uh, checking of um, pipelines and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I'm almost away, like offshore. Okay. So there's uh, it's high raya first day. Um, my grandma asked me, "Do you want to learn massage?" I said, "Why should I learn massage?" Then yeah, is it because because my my grandma is a masseuse, is eh? a masseuse, mm -hmm. so uh, postnatal masseuse. So I said, "Why should I learn massage?" Said, yeah, you should learn. It's it's it's, it's a skill. It's a skill yeah. It doesn't matter if you are you are doing it for work or mm -hmm. something that you can look forward to in the future mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you have to learn massage maybe other kinds of therapy and i said um can you suggest something for me that i think not a lot of people are doing out there and yeah. i want something that i can uh, learn more yeah. and i said okay then you learn hijama so i said like, why is hijama i said <laughs> it's blood cupping you know then he was saying in malay like, it's become dara i said I never heard of it. I heard become, yeah. but it's not the Dara thing. Correct. So he was, uh, she was uh, explaining to me that this actually is a sunnah from the Rasulullah, Prophet Muhammad. Then I was like, uh, really? I said, oh, where's the proof? Yeah. I said, yeah, I, I give you the hadith, you go and read about it. Mm -hmm. So he, she gave me this book mm -hmm. about Prophet Thich Nathan. So actually, I quite surprised to see not only hijama, actually a lot of things, even the sunnah foods and everything. So I said to him, I said to her, uh, "Thank you so much uh, for telling me this, and I think I want to pursue this." Mm. So I I went back home. I was like, I need to get this done, you know, research. I mean, I don't want to just go go to the institute in in Malaysia or in the uh, United Kingdom to just learn without knowing what actually it does. So I actually self-study, uh, research about hijama therapy, um, what benefits, um, then why Rasulullah did that, yeah. and why the Sahaba did that, yeah. why the angels always emphasize on uh, mm. Rasulullah. And I was surprised, it's actually it's a miraculous treatment. Okay. I have no idea because that's what they said when I did research mm -hmm. about hijama therapy. So I actually enrolled for the school. Um, a month later, I was already inside the institute, inshallah. So inshallah, in Selangor, um, we learned um, hijama uh, therapy uh, in an institute mm -hmm. uh, by Per Hijam. So did you, sorry, yeah. did you stop your work, quit your work? Or did you um, do it part-time? I was having um, offshore projects um, okay. at, that, uh, at that moment. So, so you're I didn't go for two projects actually. I see. So you so took I a pause for a while yes. and go for this I thing. I took a All break right. from the oil and, oil and gas industry. Okay. Right, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I pursue my mm -hmm. education in hijama therapy. Yeah, so uh, from there, it's, it, I mean, it starts so fast, you know, like I graduated from the school, I mm. came back to Singapore, then I already start doing um, sessions for people. Hijama yeah. therapy to people, then, and here I am now talking to you. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yeah.